Hey, this is Luke Simons with Salt Strong. Today we're gonna to be testing Berkeley Vanish, the main line versus the leader line. Is there really a difference? We tested a, a red label cigar and it, there really didn't seem to be a difference at all. However, these do uh, feel different. They're both 20 pounds. They're both listed at 20 pounds. The, uh, the interesting thing is the leader line is a much more expensive still. It's like, uh, I think about five times more expensive on a per yard basis but it does feel, uh, it feels tougher. Um, and actually it's a little bit thicker as well. So just to make sure that we, uh, that we get an accurate, uh, an accurate reading is I bought some 15 pound uh, leader line as well. And that has, it's very close to the same diameter as, as the main line. So, uh, so in case the, uh, the main line loses to the 20 pound leader, which it probably will since it's much thinner, uh, we'll test it against the 15. All right, so let's do the first test. We have the uh, the main line over on this side, and then the leader line is this line right here. And I'll just go ahead and get started and explain to you this uh, this process. So we have this uh, this bar that I'm moving, and it has sandpaper right there in the middle. So this way we have you know this line get rubbed up against the same strand of sandpaper, uh, and those weights down there hanging below are the exact same weight. So it's, uh, it's two pounds of weight. And so we have equal tension on the lines. The lines are going over the same piece of sandpaper. So we're trying to get this you know, as accurate as possible. And what this side to side motion is, uh, is resembling is, uh, is like a snook or, or another fish with a, uh, you know, with a sandpaper-ish like mouth. Um, so you can see there the, the, the main line as expected, the, uh, the 20 pound main line, it broke first before the 20 pound leader. I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and switch these over so that we can uh, just make sure that there's nothing different with the assembly and then we will conclude uh, this first round. I'm really interested to see if that 15 pound can, uh, can compete with the 20. All right, so now for round two, we have the main line on this side and then the, the leader line over here. And we're just gonna, again, just make sure that, uh, that this assembly is dialed in properly. So far, it has uh, not failed me yet. So I'm I guess I'm assuming that the uh, the one over to the side where my hand is, where my hand's moving the pole, is going to be breaking first. Yep, there goes the main line. And let's see how many. I think last time I had about four extra oscillations before the leader broke. So there it is. So again, leader line. So this uh, this 20 pound leader line is definitely proven to be more abrasion resistant than the uh, the 20 pound main line. So now the, I think the ultimate test though is to see if there is you know a, a, an actual advantage to the, the this line. You know they could have just put it you know a stronger line and and listed it as 20 given just how much uh, you know how much larger the diameter is. So this one the diameter is uh, point let's see 0.38 millimeters. Whereas this one is 0.40, so this main line's a little bit, uh, a little bit thicker, but barely. And uh, if you're curious about the diameter of the one that we just tested, of the 20 pound leader, it's uh, it's 0.45 millimeters, so a good amount larger. So now I'll go ahead and rig this up. So I'll put the 20 pound main line against the 15 pound leader line, and let's see how it does. So now to test the difference on the main line versus the leader line when we, uh, when we basically equate the diameter. So the 20 pound main line is on this one and then the leader line is right here. So we'll go ahead and uh, get started and let's see how it does. Just from tying the knots, the, the main line was definitely more, uh, I'll say just easier to tie knots with. It was more limp. It didn't have as many coils on the line as well. So I'll be very curious to see how it's how it can stand up to the sandpaper. Well, there goes the leader. So, the, so that was very close, but the uh, the 15 pound leader uh, did fall quicker. We'll uh, switch sides, do it again, and let's see if we can uh, get those same results. All right, so final test. Can go ahead and get started. We have the main line on your left. Leader line on your right. Let's see if the uh, the main line can win again. All 
Yep, there goes the leader. So there goes the leader, so that was close again. So with all else equal, going forward, I, I think that this, uh, this main line is actually smart buy. Again, it's much less expensive on a per yard basis when compared against the leader line of its, uh, of its same diameter. It can hold its own. But before we make a final conclusion, well, I do wanna test knot strength. So I'm gonna be doing a separate test on knot strength. I'm gonna be using these two lines and, uh, and see if the leader line has a stronger knot strength capability uh, relative to the main line. I have heard that that's the case, again, in prior tests of different lines that did not seem to be a difference. Uh, but before we do a final conclusion, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, and do that test. And to see the results of that test, it's gonna be a separate video, but it's on the same page on our website. If you're on your website, scroll around and you'll see the second, uh, the second video. And if you're not yet on our website, I'll put a link down below where you can access the, uh, the page that has you know, the, the entire uh, analysis and the final, final conclusion. Uh, for now though, again, this, uh, this main line has been very impressive, uh, better than what I was expecting when I started doing these, uh, these types of tests. If you do have any questions about any of this, you know, leave a comment down below. I check these comments as frequently as possible. I'd love to hear any thoughts you might have on, on making these tests uh, better or more accurate because really the core goal of, the, of these experiments is for us all to be able to know which line is the best value without regard uh, of marketing hype or, or getting payments from companies to, uh, to, to say one's better than the other. We're 100% sponsored by anglers, no companies at all. And if you're not yet part of our fishing club, I'll, I'll put a link down below where you can learn more about that and, and see you know, the, all the extra stuff that you'll get for, uh, for being part of a member and, and helping uh, make sure that all of this stuff is possible. But thank you so much for your time and watching this video. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. Otherwise, I hope you can get on the water soon and catch some big ones. Strong and wear the line today.